Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to The Last Flame, an auto-battling roguelike that blew me away the other day. But I'm extra excited to be checking it out again here today because we actually have closed beta access, meaning we can check out all three zones as well as different difficulties, there's more units, all of that. But if you did not see the last video, don't worry, I'll go over the basics, I'll try and keep you, you know, up to date with what's going on. But first things first, know that we have to pick ourselves a hero. So, well, we need two, technically. I kind of want to just go through this relatively quick. Let's pick ourselves a tank. Uh, so we have a melee tank that can use a burn debuff. Uh, burn debuff is kind of a, something we're going to want to look for on hit damage. So that's kind of that there, maybe. Uh, let's grab both of these, and then we'll explain later. Just bear with me. When the fight starts, all heroes gain 2% attack damage per stack of gargoyle souvenir. So, 2% attack damage for every floor we go without healing, basically. For every fight we take without healing. After each fight, you heal for 4 and get an additional trophy. That sounds good. It's basically, we're going to get more health, and we're going to get more experience, is the boiled down way to think about that. Uh, so, first things first, we got our heroes here. We're going to be able to place them anywhere on the board. You can see we can adjust sort of where this guy is going to be targeting. It's going to be based off of proximity. And then if there are two units that are in the same distance, we can pop down a character again to just swap the target. So if I click over here, you're going to swap over here, click over here, swap over there, because they're the same distance. All right. So we are going to be doing attacks. And every time we attack, we gain one mana. When our mana hits the full meter right here, which will be six, we start with half, so three. When it hits six, we will cast our ability. This character's ability is a great sort of light, which does damage in a line that may, I guess, gains us spell power. If only one enemy is hit, she gains 25% on hit effectiveness. We'll, we'll explain that in a bit, too. And what is your deal? Cast Molten Shield, dealing damage to nearby enemies, inflicting three burn, and he gains 100 defense, and he taunts the current target. So you are going to be my tank, for sure. So we're going to get your aggro over here. Enemies also have abilities. Theirs is in basically a buff to the whole squad. There's only one enemy. We're just going to run this fight because it's... You're not going to lose on the first fight. It's... I would imagine it's probably not possible. <laughs> it's probably not possible. All right. So now, to explain a couple of the currencies and things in the game, there's gold. You can imagine what that is. You can buy goods and services with it. There are trophies, which is how you level up your heroes. And then there is flame, which is basically your health. Every time you lose a character or a character dies in combat, you lose a little bit of flame. If you lose a fight, you lose a lot of flame. Basically, do well in fights and your flame will be high. Do poorly in fights, your flame will be low. Flame hits zero, you lose the run. So we're going to grab that. Now we're going to recruit another hero. Ooh. Okay, so we kind of have like a little bit of a flame synergy going on here flame okay so burn is basically an on hit effect every four attacks heroes will deal on hit damage equal to three times the amount of burn basically the more burn on the enemy they're going to be taking a big kind of like explosive burst every couple hits uh so i kind of like the idea of that hmm Blake throws a molten knife at his current target, dealing damage to all enemies' hits and inflicting two burns. Scales with attack damage and spell power. Every attack gains two attack damage. A 15 stacks also gains life steal. I'm going to get Blake. All right, now we got ourselves an item. So we get two copies of these items, it looks like. So we're going to want to either go for... I mean, we can go for attack damage on you. Attack speed is going to be pretty decent. I kind of like the idea of um, getting leather gloves because we can pop it over here for now. Attack speed and defense on our tank. Because it'll help keep him alive, which is going to be nice. Sure, we'll go up this way. But it'll also help him do a little bit more damage. And attack speed helps you cast your spells more often. The more you attack, the faster you attack, obviously the faster you gain mana. Since you gain a mana on hit. Grave digger. Uh... Does an AoE increase the all enemies' attack speed and attack power? So 
I don't know how well I'm going to be able to, like, do a sneaky attack there. I want to get your attention, but I can't. I want you to go over here and kill, but since I can't do that, let's go ahead and just get a big dumb murder over here. Technically, it'd probably be better to kill the giant bug first, but since we can't get in there, I'll just say nah. Alright. So, I could spend some trophies right here. It might not be a bad call. We do that by going up here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Each trophy is five experience. When they hit, you know, their experience cap, they'll level up. And you get to pick a new perk. Every six seconds, the hero heals the lowest HP hero for 40 plus 50% spell power. It's not great. Every three attacks, the hero inflicts one frost to all enemies, which is kind of a magic damage thing. I guess I'll go with magic potion, but honestly, that's not going to be too good. Pop you down. We want your attention. Okay, good. Just making sure that you're going to be attacking here. We want you on the tank. So we get a bunch of defense for a bit. We're going to want to try and line up her sword, probably. New hero. The idea of getting a healer sounds pretty nice. HP tank. Liam. We did use the Liam. Every two attacks, inflict shock. Okay. You do heal, but you heal yourself. It says you heal the party. All excess heal is converted into shield, and all heroes get half the shield amount. And he taunts the current target. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not too jazzed about, about that. What's your deal? Oh my god, we got a lot. ranged tank caster. Kind of wacky. I don't particularly care about any of these. I, I think I might just go ahead and take somebody for the passive, which is something I can kind of do. I'll explain why there in a bit. Okay. Alright, now we get an item, or at the very least a blueprint. We're, don't worry, there's a lot at once. We're getting through all of it. It's not as bad as it seems. Uh, this is going to be something we can combine with our items that we have to make a fancy big new item. The wearer gains 5 defense per max mana. The wearer's attacks deal an additional on-hit damage equal to 8 per summon on the battlefield. Whenever the wearer does a crit Critical Strike, they gain 10% shield power. I'm not super excited about any of these. We could re-roll. You probably don't have very much max mana. Not really. No. I'm going to re-roll to see what we can get. Every two attacks, the wearer gains 1% critical strike damage for every burn and shock on the target. That sounds really good. Those sound interesting too, but this seems really, really good. I might want to save it for an item that is going to go on my DPS. I don't know if I necessarily want to waste that recipe by combining it right now. Bat does spell damage to its target and heals for 111. Let's sort of get your attention over here and then we'll, we'll focus fire everybody. I kind of want you to walk I want you to walk up here and you to walk up here and then you can do your slice to hit everybody. For each enemy hit you gain spell power. Spell power will make your spells stronger. Uh she scales on spell power for her on hit attacks, so every time she hits she does damage equal to her spell power as well. All right, come on, big slice. Just for fun. Yeah, I mean, hey. Could be worse. Recruit another hero. Magmus. On hit. Burn. I mean, burn debuff. We should use our trophies. Magmus specializes in on hit damage. We could do something with that. 
every alt, the hero gains 10% attack speed. Has an AoE that applies burn. In addition, gains a buff that increases damage it deals from burns. You seem like a very logical choice here. Alright, um... I want, like, a really good... I want, like, attack speed or spell power or both. God. Minus two max mana. Is there somebody who's... Magmus casts Lava Eruption. I mean, that's something... Somebody whose ability we want to cast often. I guess I could put that on Emily, but... I'm not super jazzed about these. I'm gonna level with you. Every two attacks, the wearer gains 1% critical strike damage for each burn and shock. Ah. I guess. I'm just gonna combine it at this point. We could just make you my DPS as well. Like, you're just my big, strong man. Every three active abilities, it'll be cast twice. Every two attacks, you inflict shock to all enemies. It does sound kind of nice. Eh, we'll go for double ultimate. Every three is going to be a double. And I'm going to upgrade Emily. Every three attacks, inflict frost all enemies. Crits inflict frost when you get a shield from any source. Heal the hero for 3% of his max health. I don't think you gain shield from anywhere, really. You you can, but I'm going to get rid of that guy as soon as I really have the chance. All right. We have the ability to rest and heal. We can enchant a recipe which we don't have to make it better. And we can also pick an origin. So if you're familiar with like a team fight tactics or Dota Underlords, this is what replaces set bonuses or traits. This applies to everybody on my whole squad. Every crit dealt, there's a 25% chance that all heroes gain one mana regen. The hero with the highest defense has an aura that deals 150% of the team's bonus defense. So basically stack defense. Stunned enemies take 75% more damage from all sources. Every three seconds, all heroes receive a heal equal to 200% of the team's maximum mana. I'm going to go for one of these two. Do we have... We don't have a whole lot of way to stun right now. We have electric attacks and that's it. Gains mana regen for every missing HP. Yeah. I could also re-roll. Let's do that. Let's re-roll. Let's see one some more stuff. Costs five health, but we can just heal right back up. Every three seconds. Heal the lowest HP hero equal to 10% of your team's max HP. I mean, that's great for keeping tanks alive. Every crit, heroes gain on-hit effectiveness. So that's going to be like burn is going to be really benefited from that. All heroes gain spell power equal to... Wait. Spell power percentage equal to 25% of the attack damage of the hero with the highest attack damage. Oh, let's go for kills. That sounds fun. We have a squad that seems to um, benefit pretty well from both. Okay. So we're going to want to get you, probably... The person who really cares the most about attack damage will probably be Blake. And will buff his uh, attack damage up like crazy. Let's fight an elite. When other hellhounds die, it gains 20% attack damage, 25% attack speed. It does an AoE and gains damage reduction up to three times. So kind of like we're just going to want to split up some DPS and stuff a bit, or at the very least split up the um, split up the enemies a little bit.
Okay, we want to focus our damage, I think, maybe? We want to focus our damage? Yeah, since we're stacking burn, and burn is basically a way to, like, ramp up your damage on a single target, I think that'll be a good call. I'll have my tank tank both of these. While we rip these to smithereens. That should be fine. This guy may go down. Got big armor up. He heals himself a little bit. All right. We got you out of the way. Oh, no. We're splitting the DPS a little bit. He might go. He's going down. Come on, taunt him. No! We lost a little bit of health. It doesn't really matter, but it's sad. We're back up to basically full, but oh well. Uh, hybrid damage dealer. Every five hit, the heroes does additional splash on hit damage equal to 100% damage and inflicts two bleeds. Maybe. Jalen casts shielding orbs, giving a shield to all heroes and increasing their attack damage by 1% of their total shield. I mean... Sure. All right, we got a new recipe. Every six seconds, the wearer receives a shield equal to 100% of their defense or 100% of their spell power. Wait. Every attack, the wearer has a 2% chance per frost and burn on the enemy. Wait. It has the most of these to gain 4% crit strike chance and strike damage. That's a lot, but it basically it means if they have a lot of burn, we are... This character is going to get a lot of crit chance and crit damage. All right. I mean, that's kind of interesting. We could we could do something with that. Again, I kind of like I need a um, I need an item here with the most defense gains seventy defense. Shields the lowest percent health hero by 140 every four seconds a whole bunch of attack speed but lose a whole bunch of attack power so on hit effects like burn we do really like attack speed that does sound appealing that's kind of that's kind of nice these are all, like, valid choices. I'm not going to go for this because I do want to spend money. How much? Give 105 defense. Taking 51% reduced damage. So that's going to be when the start of combat happens. So that guy is... He hopefully should not be dying. While exploring the forest, you come across a massive chest. You think to yourself, that's it. We made it. On second thought, you wonder, what's such a massive chess doing in the middle of a force? Heart starts beating pretty fast. Boom, kaboom, kaboom. So, 40% chance to find 350 bucks, 60% chance to probably explode. That's fine. Good deal. Fight the elite. Cast defensive ritual, granting itself and nearby enemies. 40% damage reduction for 5 seconds. Sets the mana of all heroes down. So, I... The thing is, I can't sneak in there. We're going to want to get their attention. I kind of want to put you down instead. We have two trophies. Is anybody almost at a level up? No. Do we want to give you... Frozen Spear? We could... I don't think we need it, and I want to save it for when, like, I'm actually making something I really, really want. Okay, speaking of... So, if I do this... Are you in melee? Are you in melee range? I don't think so. I just want to pull his attention. 
All right, we'll see how it goes. Because I want them to swap their damage onto this person who's setting my magic down to, or my mana down to zero. It'll make it really hard to, to get cast. Okay, this mostly went well. I'm thinking this man may become deceased. No, we're good. Cool. 270 armor. I really wanted to see how much that, <laughs> that reduced damage by. All right, we are at a max cap for um, for characters. So anybody I would be getting, it's like they need to be better than what I have. Or they could have a good passive that we want. There are going to be ways to move these passives onto somebody else if we want. Every time the hero crits with an attack, they summon a water elemental. I could see myself taking this passive. Or keeping you in as apparently another tank. Crit mastery. Why are you crit master? Oh, yeah. I'll take you. Every five attacks, the wearer gains one attack damage for each shock and frost on the enemy that has the most. Every five seconds, the wearer heals the lowest HP hero for that. I mean, that does sound good. We don't have that many ways to apply frost right now. Or or shock. It's not... I'll take the healing cloak. And I'll tell you what. I think that's good enough to forge. We can always unforge these later. The reason I'm uh, avoiding it is because it does cost money. Oh, shoot. Enemies start with 12 frost. But they have a frost cap of 12. Hextile buff. So this is going to buff... These are going to buff one specific unit on the... Or um, tile on the board. And if we put a unit there, they gain that effect. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Maybe go for spell steal. Spell steal applies on on hit effects and stuff too. So that's going to be good. All right, let's move everybody back here. So he's already quite tanky. Oh, you, they do AoE. We want to spread out. Want to spread out at least a little bit. I, w I want you to be taking the brunt of all the damage. Because you are so unbelievably tanky right now. Oh my god, that move is crazy. How much spell damage up is that? 23? Not bad, not bad. That AoE was pretty rough, but we're good. Like to see it. Critical strike chance, spell power and defense. Spell power minus attack speed. Uh, it's the spell power and defense, if anything, but... Here we go. 20 attack damage, 20 spell power. Or I'll tell you what, the 32 attack damage. I'm going to grab that. So we're going to combine these. Congratulations, man. Um, every four attacks, if the hero is below half, he gains 25 defense. Otherwise, he deals on hit damage equal to the hero's defense to his target. On cast, gains 12 spell power. Spell power... Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Four trophies left, so we have about 20. Could upgrade you, but... I'm a sucker. 25. Gain spell power equal to 25% of the attack damage of the hero that has the highest attack damage. We want to just give you so much attack damage, because then everybody gets a huge boost to their spell power. Every third active, it casts, it's cast twice. I don't know if I want to swap these.
I could see myself swapping these two because Emily is probably going to be getting more spell power. And he has doesn't really have spell power right now. All right, what we got in the shop? We currently have... Okay. Every three crits, the crit is dealt to everybody. Four attacks, the wearer gains a shield equal to 100% of their attack damage. Attacks do an additional four times max mana as on hit damage. It's certainly interesting. I'm going to take the huge attack damage boost on hit effectiveness up by 50%. Sounds really good. Let's go ahead and combine a couple things. On hit effectiveness. I probably want to save that for... Uh, for Emily. So let's get a good passive here for Emily. Attack speed and spell power is perfect for Emily. Absolutely perfect. So let's go with that. Attack speed, spell power. Forge those. That goes on Emily. Attack steal an additional four times max mana is on hit damage. I'm going to get that for the future. Or now, actually. I didn't think I would have enough money for both of those. Alright, just raw attack damage here. Spell power and more on-hit damage. Okay, Emily probably just got a hell of a lot stronger now. We'll have to check the damage charts. Oof. Whoever's in this corner is going to get uh, freaking lifesteal. Cast Chaos Eruption. Best targeting dealing 728. So it's going to be an AoE. Stuns and puts in chains the highest damage dealer of the party. All heroes will target the chains trying to break it. If they do not break the chains within 6.5 seconds, they take 99% of their damage as... Ooh, ooh. Uh, so we're going to want to probably put you there. So since the damage gets split, is there a benefit in putting... There's a potential benefit in putting everybody clumped up. Could be bad. Because it's 728 spread around. I do like that everyone would be clumped up. It could it could bite me. This could bite me in the butt going for this way. It could help me a lot. I don't know which thing is cast first. Okay, so that's not that much damage when it's split among the whole squad. Oh, my man. Dude, Emily is the highest damage dealer. That, I, I thought that that might happen. That fight was a joke for us. We destroyed it. All right, whose passive do we want? Hero gains eight defense for each hero and summon within seven range. That could be a good thing to yoink. Actually, never mind. I think we take Blake. We get a free 25 experience, which is the equivalent of five trophies, which we do need to use more. But, like, where gains 4% attack speed per max mana. Grants an aura around the wearer. Heroes inside the aura gain 25% attack speed. But the wearer loses 450 HP when the fight starts. We could probably make that work. When the hero gets below 50% HP for the first time, he gains a whole bunch of life steal and attack damage. I could put that on them for sure. Attack speed per max mana, 424. I mean, that's starting to get pretty gnarly. 
It's a 36% attack speed increase on Magmus. Surely I would want that on Emily, but I don't really want to give her more max mana. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. I'll go for the King's Ring because it spreads to lots of people. When you obtain a rare recipe, there's a 25% chance it gets upgraded to an epic one. Shop no longer offers epic. They're replaced by rares. Ooh. You can research at the shop. Choose a relic and it costs eight. Choose any relic? All heroes gain 2% attack damage per stack of Garvoil Souvenir, which is basically an attack damage as long as we don't visit campfires. I'm not, like, jazzed about any of these. Every time the hero crits, gain five gold. Every five seconds, the hero gains shield. For each summon. Plus 15 for each summon in the battlefield. I, I guess I'll do that to keep my healer alive, but I kind of regret that. All summons attack speeds increased by 10% of the hero's current shield when the fight starts. Oh, I hate these. Gains critical strike chance for the further they are from other heroes. I'm not really going to want to put you far away from other heroes. This is just bad. Crits, critical strikes inflict bleed to all enemies, though. That's something. It'll help them increase their attack damage, basically, is what bleed does in this game. Defense or trophies. We could do 20. Okay. Moving on. Avoid the campfire, I guess. You get a huge damage boost if we avoid them. Deals 100 spell damage to nearby heroes and heals for 100% of the damage dealt. Sends a, wait, was that? Sends a beam to the furthest hero that deals 442 spell damage, but can be intercepted by other heroes. Scales with range, dealing more damage. More damage the closer the target is. Ooh, God. I wish I could get your attention, but not yours. To do that, I'd have to be here. And then you go... Hmm. Something like that. And this. Oh, God, that's wacky. You go. <laughs> oh my god. So you'll go bzzz, and hopefully hit here, which means you'll intercept it, and you'll go bzzz, and which will hopefully hit here, and you'll intercept it. You're here just to take advantage of that massive uh, spell steal. This might go very poorly. Okay, that spell steal is unreal. The laser beam is working very well, though. Okay, it's, it might get a little bit messed up right now. Yep. That was... It got a little bit sketchy, but we're good. I didn't even use this yet. I guess the question is, who would I have put it on? Spell steal. Every five attacks, the wearer gains one spell power for each bleed and shock on the enemy that has the most of those debuffs. It could be good. Every five attacks, the wearer receives a shield equal to 5% of their max HP. We don't have anyone with like a ton of max HP. It would be Atrios. Every attack, you have a 1% chance per burn and shock on the enemy that has the most of these to gain one mana regen. You gain attack speed and spell power. 
every alt. So I guess that'd probably be for Magmus. Not that I really know what to... I don't really know what to do with these yet. I'm gonna regret that. I could just... I mean, the other option is just I slap it on... On you, so you cast this ult more. I think we save it. Because the thing is, we might also get a... To a shop and upgrade it that way. I guess that's at a campfire. Ooh, what a mess this is. Ooh, what a huge mess this is. Just for a second, let me humor. It summons a slime that has 33% of its max HP and 50% of its attack damage. So basically, we just need to DPS race these guys, and these ones are the weird, uh, the ones that are really tough to get the positioning right on. Oh god, this is a mess. This layout is really tough. Furthest enemy would be here, you'd be taking that, which is not good. And you would be doing the attacking there. So I could probably get your attention here, which would work fine. Ay ay ay. Let's get some level ups. Spell steal, spell power, trick strike chance. I'm leaning towards spell steal because it works as a well as like an off tank. And we also other otherwise are kind of pushing towards stealing the defense there. The other option is spell power. Let's do spell power. That helps with magic potion. We get more heals that way. Before we have 20, we don't have enough to level up anybody. Yeah, I don't love this. Bzz, tank. Uh, I would assume that you're the furthest. It'd be bzz, tank. Oh, bother. Okay. The laser beams got exactly tanked perfectly how I wanted. Dude, we solved that fight. That fight was a mess, and we solved it. We completely just evaporated that mattering. Um, okay, Amber Ring is definitely a spell power thing. Or it can definitely be a spell power thing. I am going to pop that on you, unless I want to get rid of uh, put Healing Cloak back on my tank. I mean, the damage is uh, it's pretty comparable between the two here, which is great. Mostly attack damage, barely any on hit. Lots of on hit. That would probably put you over the top and be you'd be the main DPS dealer. All right, so now here we can either go to a place where we re-roll are a hero's passive or we could swap two from one hero to another Which i'm not entirely sure i think we go for the reroll because the lone wolf is just so bad on like one of my main damage dealers there increase everybody's attack speed oh my god another one I don't want to split, so we want you to go. Bzz -ch, bzz -ch. I'm just gonna have you here so you can steal, get the life steal going, I guess.
Um. Okay. Yeah, that ended up working. Not bad. God. You are still the main one. Wow. On cast, wearer gains 15 defense. Every six attack, the wearer gains one mana regen. Three stacks gains 20 spell power. Uh, so we need to start building something for... Actually, Guardian Helmet makes a lot of sense for you. For Atrios. We're going to want to reroll Lone Wolf, probably. Gain 20% on-hit effectiveness when the fight starts. Deal an additional 15 on-hit damage. It's not incredible, because he doesn't actually have that much magic damage or any on-hit effectiveness. But I do. it is better, because we're not going to be moving him far from people. 12 trophies... Here, spell power is increased by 5% of its current shield when the fight starts. Gain 150 shield. We do get shield. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not incredible. All right, we have 25 power worth of level ups we can give. I'm going to give it to my, uh, my shieldman. Probably going to go for attack speed. Attack speed will help us get uh, more more mana. Lose this item to duplicate demon fists. I mean, we lose a common item unforged to gain this. Obviously, I want I'll want another great axe, but this one's like unforged. That is like huge. Okay, we have to go to a new zone before we can move that item on. All right, what's your deal, big boy? Dark eruption on the furthest enemy. Dealing... Whew. Gain, dealing 565 split between heroes struck. They all lose 10 spell power and gain 2 max mana. Attacks deal an additional 423 split. Between close range. Oh boy. Tell you what, we have to have you here. You guys losing spell power doesn't bother me that much. Furthest enemy would be you, so we'd be stealing your spell power, which I don't like. But I can't let you take four, 565. We need to split the damage. You losing spell power means that we lose shield capabilities. That doesn't bother me that much. I'm more okay with Emily losing... Uh, melee damage that doesn't bother me that much I think we're I think we're good with this the only downside being that Emily doesn't get the attack speed boost from King's Ring hmm The other option is we do something like... What's the area of effect? Oh, God. This is going to be... This is actually going to be really sketchy. All right. Oh, God. That guy left. The circle. One of my main damage dealers is going to be taking a big smack. Okay. The heal, though. It's fine. If the fight were to go on any longer, we would have much more of an issue. Emily did more DPS there. Poor Magmus. All 
All right, are we going to swap anybody? Probably not at this point. Crit and bleeds. Inflict frost. Could be good. Summons. I mean, do we want another tank on my bench? I have, I actually have two tanks on my bench already. I'll take Joanne and not that's going to really matter. On cast, the wearer gains 8% attack speed. Mm. Magmus in a long fight, we could try and find a way to, we could ramp you up. To do some silly stuff. And even then he'll like an AoE. Ay 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 man. I don't really know. Equal to 8 per summon on the battlefield. I guess I'll get the dancing spire. Team size up by one, but all heroes gain one max mana when the fight starts. Apply three burns every four seconds to all enemies is so good. This is good, but this is so good too. If you have another hero, then you also have to itemize another hero. You have to expend experience on another hero. You have to be the marble. Orc spinner. The orc spinner enters a whirlwind state, dealing big damage to all heroes hit every second. Only stopped when it takes 20% of his max health as damage. Uh, for every other demon archer targeting the same hero, it gains 20% attack speed and 20% attack power when targeting the same hero stacks. So we really want to split up the attention of these two in a big way. We also kind of want to split up the damage. I want two on you. Yeah, that works. Then we don't get this. Oh, that sucks. This is just, it's just a really bad placement of the lifesteal. Like a really, really bad placement of it. I need you up here. I guess I'll take that because why not? This could be bad. Anybody five away? No. But yeah, we want to split up because we need... If these guys do their spin, we need them to get broken out of their spin. We did it. We got them all split up. We don't want too much attack damage on one individual. The big sword from hell came out. Cool. Attack damage and health. You know... Attack steal additional four times max mana on hit damage. God, that it, that's so good for her, but... I want more flat attack damage. 20 attack damage, 20 spell power could work. I'm gonna roll one more time. Just give me... Yeah. We just want big, dumb, raw damage. This could have been good on you, but I just... I just want an item out here. Uh, who has the highest attack speed between you guys? You do. Congratulations, have a battle axe. Reroll passive. It's not that great. It could go if we need it to. That's pretty good. This I don't care about for you. This I don't really care that much about for you either. It's it's helping. Well, it's it helps Emily fine. Every four attacks, if the hero is below, no. the hero's attacks have a twenty percent chance to rapidly attack another time. Sure, because I kind of want to yoink that for somebody else. That's basically the big reason to go for that one. What is happening here? Targets the hero with the lowest HP with a death nato, dealing blank damage to all heroes struck. Uh, 
Oh god. I'm not really going to be able to get their attention. That's such a bad spot for the life steal. It's such a bad spot for the life steal. It's not even funny. Okay, we have 20 experience points we can give to somebody. Life steal. Attack speed sounds good. To help you with the ramp up. Oh god, I hate the placement of that. Come on, just we need to destroy him quickly, basically. This guy is gonna be hyper targeted. The next time they cast, he's gonna be in pain. Or not, because we actually managed to get the other ones out of the way. Whew. Upgrade Emily. Every three seconds, all enemies gain one of every debuff active on them. That I actually really like the idea of. Like, I don't love that it's on the attack damage. I don't really care, though. This, I like having that on you because it's kind of character agnostic, right? Hextile buff, spell power, defense... Team size up by one. All heroes get damaged by 15% max HP at the start of the fight. Um, we could make that... We could make that work. Our tank doesn't mind that too much. And we have lifesteal. We got the shields. Elephant boot sounds fun. Spellbook sounds fun. Get the fishing rod. Which is going to complicate things. Now we can bring in somebody else. Let's take a look. Every time the hero crits with an attack, summon a water elemental. You do have a taunt. You shield people. I think getting you on the field is going to be better. I can't do it right now, it looks like. What's your deal? When the fight starts, summon two blue drakes. The hero gains four spell power per summon on the battlefield. Cast a blizzard dealing damage to enemies and inflicting four frost, which increases the... You know what? Sure. Okay, we got the spell power down here. Let's pop you here. What is this? Sends demonic bolts to towards all other enemies. If there are no enemies alive... It sends bolts towards all heroes. Okay, so it's going to go... Bzzz. Oh, this is tricky. So it's going to go... Bzzz, bzzz. It's basically, they're going to make a square. A square from hell. Do I have your attention? I think so. I can't tell which one you're targeting. You're targeting here, and that's not good. See, having one extra unit on this fight, not helping me too much. Not helping me that much at all. I feel like I actually have one too many. Because I wish you were targeting down here. Bad stuff. We got bad stuff, man. 
This is the only way I can go, but we're going to take the spell bolt. Yeah, this is a mess. Oh, even more than I anticipated. I didn't think that that was going to go that way. Oh, it cuts through the middle, too. Yeah, it was going to be bad no matter what. We had to readjust completely. For some reason, I was like, oh, it's going to be nice. They're going to go in a square. But no, they, they cut through the middle, too. So it was going to be rough no matter what. So I just shouldn't have thought about it too much. 65 attack damage. That's huge. Three max mana. Sure. That's a lot more spell power for everybody. 235. have a chance to attack rapidly another time. I feel like that is probably better for Blake, who just does crazy individual damage. Well, you know what? It's better for Emily. Who does crazy on-hit effects. That's going to be the better call. Alright, what the hell do we have going on here? We've got uh, no recipe for that. Every five seconds, the wearer stuns its current target for 0.2 seconds per bleed. Every attack, the wearer does on-hit damage equal to six times the amount of frost and burn. Whew. On cast, the wearer gains 20% attack damage stacking four times. I mean, that's huge, but we did increase the max mana. It's still probably worth, right? If he lives long enough to cast, that's going to be beautiful. Probably going to want to move this to somebody else if we can afford another. Eh. Okay, so who's missing Who's missing stuff right now? We've got... Don't want attack speed down. Mana regen book sends divine for you. You get better every cast. Joanna. HP 20 defense. Sure. Sounds good to me. Poisonous Rain deals blank damage per second to all heroes. Best targeting, I think. Eh. Stops when all of them are destroyed. And then the skeleton shows up in the middle and does attack damage split between the target here and here's in a large area. Um, I mean, we're going to have a rough go of it, probably, but let's try and, um, keep you, ooh, boy, keep you in the middle, or one of you two in the middle. That's really all I need, know that I want to do right now, because these don't care about targeting. They do the poisonous rain, and then this guy shows up to do this, the sweeping attack. Good. Okay. Oh, no. Why do you got to be the one in the middle? Bye, man. You ding-dong idiot. Oh, my God. He's being healed up. He's going to die. Why do you got to be the one standing in the middle? You goofus ball. Okay, there we go. We got, we got the taunt on here. We lost nobody. Woo. Woo. Congrats, Joanna. I have so many trophies. The wearer's attacks now do on-hit damage instead of attack damage. Scales with attack damage attributes, lifesteal attack damage, critical strike chance, but not spell steal. And not spell steal. Weird. It still... It still buffs up their on-hits very well. On cast, the hero gains 7% critical strike chance. Three casts. The hero's spells, act abilities, and on hits can now crit. Sure. All heroes gain 20% attack speed, but lose 25 attack power. Two, all heroes... Wait. 
Minus two max mana, lose 10 attack speed. I don't know, maybe. Three frost per second to all uh, enemies all the time. That is pretty good. This could be good on, on you. But let's just go for the frost. That Basically, that'll just increase the spell damage we do. And now we're on to the ether dungeon. Holy mole. If I can get away with never going to a um, to a campfire, we're in a great space. Hmm. You love spell power. Take spell power. You love attack speed too, for what it's worth. Uh, 16. I need to have my tank get a little bit more. Every time the hero heals, a hero gains two spell power. Every time the hero casts their active ability, two random heroes give, gain a mana. That's worth it for sure. Every four attacks, if the hero is above 25%, does not have full shield. The hero loses 5% HP, gains shield. Eh. Could be good. Take the Astral Sword. The fact that we could swap that onto somebody else is pretty cool. We have 25 we can give to somebody. Is that going to make a difference on anyone? Uh, Jaina, I mean Joanna. I guess, I guess mana regen. AoE does damage and... Okay, we got the we got the super eyeball man. Okay. So you If I put you right here. We want We we'll want somebody here ish. And then we'll want somebody here ish. Get some attention. Or what's further? That'll be good. And your furthest would be here, I guess. It might actually be you. That actually might mess everything up. We'll see. I think that it's not going to matter. Yeah, it's not going to matter. We, we we got it. We tanked the laser beam. This is where it could be kind of gross. He was charging up a laser, but he never got it out. Every two attacks, where heals for three times the amount of bleed and frost on the enemy. Every attack, the wearer has a 2% chance per frost on the enemy to stun. I just... I want more pieces to put my recipes on, is the thing. Like, I have these, but I... Frozen Wand is something that can go on a sideline unit. Which... Not that you need to be a sideline unit. You're, you're starting to do some big boy damage. We have 25. Nobody can level up from that. All right. Continue. So if we do this, then we have to go to a campfire. I want to avoid the campfire if I can. Okay, we want to split these guys. Easy enough. Split their attention. Are you two actually attacking down here? If you are, this is great. All right, perfect. We want two on you, two up there, because that life steal is just gross. Bonk. On cast, the wearer's max mana is increased by two. Attack damage is increased by two times the max mana. Where gains four percent heal power for every bleed. Ooh. It's 
the amount of summons on the battlefield. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Like, again, just these things that are going to give these other sideline characters a chance to apply status effects that will help the other people on my squad is really, really helpful. I don't have that much money, and I'm going to want to go to another shop. So we have nine upgrades. Every attack has a 15% chance to generate a third of your max mana. Is so potentially good. All right, we actually may see um, Magmus start to spike up here. We have 15. Summon three orbs at the furthest three corners from your position. Send a beam to the furthest hero. It can be intercepted by other heroes. What? Oh my god, that is going to be impossible for me to mentally process here. Uh, each one, so Moom sends one to here. Don't love that. Uh, whoop sends one to here. Oh, this is hyper wacky for this here being that one so we'd want the tankiest one here which would be you you your furthest would be them which is fine that 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 we want so we do that we, well actually we'd go that and then we go there we have three 15 all right this is gonna be goofy i do not even know how to begin the process what this spell cast is gonna look like it basically obliterates um i can't believe it's not Jaina. And that's probably fine. Again, what is she doing for me? Not that much. Nice. All right, so where's... I mean, I kind of want to get something for... Attack speed. I'm going to roll once. Give me some spell power stuff. Spell, more, more than that. Ah! No! Oh. I really wanted something to uh, to sub out one of the items on um, on Emily. Second here. Okay. Well, we're gonna combine those. It's going to scale with attack damage and stuff instead of spell, so it's like I can't go all in on that. Uh. You don't have that much max mana. That's so much spell power. <laughs> I don't know who to put this on. Because this is so good. It's such a big deal. It, it, it's something I really would like on Emily, but I'd like it on Emily if we could take another slot, so... Oh, well. I guess we just do that. We have a whole bunch of trophies... I feel like we need to make sure that you don't fall behind. Unfortunately. Don't quite have enough trophies there. A mysterious foe appears from the void. He wants to challenge your best, most courageous hero to a duel. Uh, the fighting hero gains the attack damage, spell power, and defense of the heroes that have the most of one of the stats. Do we actually? We don't actually get to. Said 1v1. So all the corners are going to go to the furthest. We're going to want you to run in. Not that that's going to really work. I wouldn't mind if you got blasted. Ah. So he decided um, defense was the stat. Gotcha. So that's how that works. The good news is I think he's a pretty solid soloist. 
We do better as time moves on to an extent. They are also going to enrage. We win the 1v1. I am not going to be taking anybody here. So let's look for the passives. On cast here against 12 spell powers. The most interesting there. 4% attack speed per max mana. On cast, the next attack does on hit damage equal to 300% of your spell power. We could make that work. Not that you have spell power yet. We could put the attack speed and spell power. 4 mana regen. You know? You are going to be my weird attack damage beast. Yeah, we're, we're creating a mess. We're getting near the end where we have a lot of slots and I don't want to like really split people up. attack a bit faster. Who has less mana? You both have the same amount of mana. Alright, proceed. Fight an elite. We have 11 trophies. Life steal attack speed. I'll definitely grab some attack speed. Or what, should I get some health so you don't get exploded? Nope. 7. 35. Is it going to make a difference here? Probably not. When the fight starts, summon two golden drakes. Ooh. Stunning attack is not bad too, but I guess we'll just go for the summons. Uh, smash to the ground, dealing damage to nearby. Seven seconds after a rock golem dies, if any golem still alive, it rises back up with 50% of its max HP. So we want to split damage is kind of the gimmick on this one. Eh. Dude, I hate that. Okay. Uh, you are attacking this one. You're attacking that one. That works. You are attacking here. Not that that's going to really do that much. To its target and nearby. So boom, whoop. Boom, whoop. So that should be safe. That should be fine. That being said, we are really starting to push the limits of how tanky this guy is. Okay, we've split the deeps. What a god. Oof. Every two attacks inflict a burn or frost at random to all enemies. I I might swap Jaina, not Jaina out. What items do you have? And we'll pick based off of that. Attack damage, gain attack speed based off of. Gains one max mana. One mana regen for every three max mana you have. Uh, Ola performs 2% attack. Wait. Dragon Dance gains 2% attack damage or per max mana. Uh, What about tankiness factor? You are slightly more tanky. I am sorry. I am going to dismiss you to get my trophies back. We got six trophies back by doing that. It's going to be tough. Every six seconds, the hero heals the... I mean, the attack damage. Not that it's going to be, like, incredible. I guess. Item. When the wearer's attack damage is above or equal to 160, they gain 20% lifesteal for the remainder of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot up there. Uh, we could 
if I found a new base, I could sub that out on to them. I mean, I guess. I like Healing Cloak. Heals the lowest health. Sounds good. Six spell power for each summon. We don't really have that. All heroes gain 35% extra spell power is going to be huge. Huge amount of experience over there on somebody who really needs it. So you are missing kind of like attack speed, on hit effects. You get attack speed per max mana. Gains. Ay, ay, ay. You are not looking too promising there. Spell power minus attack speed. The wearer's crits afflict burn. What's your crit chance? 10%. Not great. Every four attacks the wearer gains shield equals 75%. Every attack has a 1% chance per burn to gain two mana regen. We could make that work for sure. I'm not like... Wait, you like max mana up. You don't love spell power too much, do you? I mean, you can use it. You can use it. It's not great. Man. Everything is so expensive, we can kind of only get, like, one thing here. But I am going to need to be able to put items on. So, spell power and HP. I guess I'll get the, the defense, and then we'll see what else we can even get. How about that? Four attacks gain a shield equals 75% attack damage. Three crits, the wearer's mana's up to full. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's not great. Then we can even yoink one other thing. Spell power with max mana could be fine. Let's just get HP. Well, yeah, we'll make whoever it is just live. How about that? Proceed. Let's move up towards just the final boss. Let's try and guarantee it here. We should be fine. Forge, we have five seconds the wearer heals for blank percent of the spell power. Slap that on here. Shouldn't matter too much. Jalen... None of you are going to have that much spell power, really. Yeah, the amount of wackiness of, like, everything we'd have to spread around at this point is kind of crazy. Huh. Just a bunch of guys that are going to be gaining armor over time. Uh, oops, wrong one. So we're going to want to kind of just like rip them to pieces. Go be here, maybe we can do just that. That's basically the whole thing. You just try and single target them down, I guess. This is wacky. Crits can burn. Take the crit strike chance then. 15 for the next level on anybody. Nope, we're good. I think we're fine. If we just single target blast down one guy at a time, it'll be the best case scenario. That was a huge heal. Yeah, it's fine. We've created a pretty dumb build. Emily's unbelievably cracked. Attack damage, 24 attack damage, 12% critical strike chance. That could be good. Attack speed and 3 max mana on uh, the new character we got is fantastic. Hmm. Don't think I care too much. I'll, I'll get this. I think we really do have a pretty fine situation for the end game here. 
Deals AoE damage and heals for 100% of the damage dealt. The Stinking Lich. The Stinking Lich. We want to split them up perfectly like that. Uh, so it'll be... Boop, boop, boop. Blasting towards the middle. Oh, it's going to be a massacre. I hate that we don't get to spread that aura correctly, but... That was the furthest target. Yeah, these liches are the most brain-breaking enemies to try and figure out the positioning for. By far. One spell power for missing HP. Here we go. That's for the new character, I think. Mm. Do like that already. I mean, this is so good, but it's not that good on you, is the sad thing. Passive swap. We're getting so in the weeds here. Get the tanky thing on the tank. Final shop. Not that it's going to really be that much that we get to do anything with. Yeah, I'd have to pop in too. So let's... uh, We'll buy the experience upgrades. Go to the final boss. And now it's going to be... Level ups. Let's be efficient with it. We got two there. Spell steal. You're going to want attack speed. What about Emily? Could we get you at... 45? All right. We could do it. I mean, you've gotten us here. All right, what do we have? Breathes Hellfire, dealing huge damage, split among heroes, hit in a line. Applies the Hellfire debuff. So it goes off of best targeting. Midnight Breath, every nine seconds, calls down a dragon to breathe midnight. Oh my god. Every time a hero gets hit by this, he gains... He gains 50 attack power and 50 spell power. Who is he? He being Molten Dragon? So, I guess what we want to do... It's actually pretty straightforward, then. We want to, like... Face you away from the raid. And then put this in a line of three of characters that can be hit... And it not matter as much. Okay. Face you away from the raid. So fire blast, you just you just exist, okay? Punk. This should be pretty easy actually. Right? So then we want to see the... Ah, uh, you moved! That makes sense. You're probably going to die then. Okay. Easy is probably not the word, but it is. Uh, it was not bad. We were fine. Woof! Uh, Wizard's Vault. Karina Ripley... Luco, Crystal Mace, three new uh, ones of those bad boys. Holy moly. Uh, man, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Runs are not short. <laughs> they are not short. But wow, it does let you get knee deep in the build. I almost feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like two, two zones almost felt right to an extent. Because then you get like so in the weeds. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. I don't know. It feels like it, uh, decision-making feels 
maybe on the higher difficulties, you'll, it'll really, really matter. So when you're in that third zone, in fact, it'll probably matter even more. But by that point, you're kind of like, you're maybe going to be a little bit decision fatigued. But still, the fact you can make all those decisions is super, super compelling. This game is so good. It's so, 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 so good. Gosh. Uh, go check out the download the link in the top description. Go wishlist the game. I really, really love this one, man. Uh, so good. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguex more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.